This August, we feature women in school sport. Who recently participated in the National School Sports Winter Games Championship held in Benoni Gauteng. It is essential that learners participate in school sport, keeping them active, and it promotes social cohesion and discipline amongst our youth. Sports played included koko, yukskei, soccer, tennis, and rugby. The SA National School Sports Championship Winter Games. This is the second leg. We had the first leg now in the Western Cape, um, whereby there were three uh, courts that uh, were actually taking place there. This time around, it is the second leg, whereby you've got a number of team sports that are participating um, from tennis. Um, you also have rugby, you also have football, and then we don't forget as well, there's Coco and Chaske as well, which are also taking place here. What happens here is that uh, those who play very well and they win, the winners for both under 15 boys and girls, they'll have to travel all the way and go play in this International Confederations Trophy um, representing South Africa. We were selected from our district, so we had different schools. These different schools, we selected the best team. So that's why the team is here today, is going to represent the KZN. Coco is a chasing game. It's played uh, by two teams against each other. We have uh, nine players. We have eight, one which, are, um, which we say they are fielding. And then there's a one player who must uh, be standing. So the one player is gonna pass a Coco to one of the players. So you do not stand until you are touched and then the other team is going to be running. But as they run, we need to have three players who are going to be running. So we chase them. So as you are the runner, there is no, like, there is no rules for you. You just run all over the place. But the people who are squatting, they have other rules that they have to follow. One, as I said, when, they, when you pass, you don't move until a person touch you. That is one of the things. And then again, also, you, once you have decided and take the direction, you don't turn back. What you have to do, you have to pass to the next person. So that's how it plays. I'm not going to play a cool move. It's a good thing. I'm going to play 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 a Department of Cultural Affairs and Sport. So I'm going to play a good high school. So, Gaba Bando Bang, which Lebana and Beckland have been to your course, Bangbon and Sisters Colony in the Salas Games, Gunsim Bang Coshin, because who face I challenges as means, who face an abandoned Bang Abasuka and Nebasuka Queen down again down. Then, of Nabia's Banan and Leaco and Lishes of Milos of Bananazo. If I could put the Bama Bad and Coconut Wins, it was a Puma, it is your big chain, is your big same teenage friend. Today we are playing the IG Games uh, here at Boxburg for Ontwikkeling. That's what we are doing here to improve, to improve and to encourage children to play some more Yekskei. They can start from the age of six years, they can start Yekskei. But for this tournament it's only the under 16s that are participating here today. Today we are playing doubles and trips. So there are 20 teams for the doubles and there are 16 teams for the trips. But overall there are nine provinces here today. I choose as a sport because it is an easy game and an understandable game. Ik verkies je ekskei, want ik voel een mens kom meer bij elkaar. Je krijgt meer mensen en zo. En die sport is klein, zo so mensen krijgen meer mensen en getrek om te komen spelen. En het is lekker om het te bekend te maken aan de mensen, om nieuwe mensen in te trekken om te kunnen spelen. Niet net voor een provincie, maar voor een club of iets. The sport that the nation plays is, is rugby and netball and all that kind of sports. But if your, your child does not fit into that, then they can come and play Yekskei. Yekskei is a sport that they can learn from and it's a positive sport, it's a, it's a family sport.
I'm here as a coach with Tim Kaute. The tournament is good for kids. They'll be ex playing first time with other province. Some have played with them and then some haven't. I started coaching 2018. I went there as a player and then I, I trained to become a coach. So coaching for me, it's something which is good. And I would like also women to come join coaching. What inspired me to play tennis? I noticed that it opens a lot of doors for you. Like it gets you better education, gets you to better school, you meet people and it's so nice. When we went to school, we used to walk home um, to our grandmother's house and then they would fetch us later, but then um, they decided to go to the um, club to just see what's going on. And then we found some like people, like ch kids playing, and then we decided to join. I was in my school uniform and their coach was not there yet. But they just like gave me the racket and I just felt this is it. Women's Month means that women are like, they have some freedom. They get to do things that men do and women couldn't do and they have more opportunities. They could do a lot of things that men used to do. I started playing wheelchair tennis when I was 12. It made me know myself and have faith in myself and also because it's it allows me to know a lot of things. I have learned a lot of things and understand a lot of kinds of disabilities and people around me. I think that Women's Month is where all the women have freedom to do whatever they wish to do. Very difficult game. You try everything. Uh, but uh, you know, when things are not working on your way, you start to get frustrated. I think we, 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 we created a lot of chances. We should have buried the game, I think, in the first, first 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we knock the ball, we control everything. Uh, in terms of uh, being offensive, in terms of uh, technical, tactically, we will look better. We have better sight, honestly. Uh, it's just we needed a uh, lady luck. You know, sometimes that's part of football. If, if you try everything, you throw everything, you make some changes, fresh legs, uh, but it, it never happened. I can say the guys, they played well against KZN. We are hoping that they, the, the, the mindset should not be the fact that we have lost, but they play a good game and if they, they've got a fighting spirit. It's just that if they can come with a new mentality, with a new game, and approach as it comes. The preparation is very long, so I think it's been a long time. But I think it's a long time. 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 I'm so happy. I'm so happy, guys. No, the game was tough, but as girls, we manage it. Yeah, firstly, we, we're really thankful just for being a part of such an esteemed tournament. Uh, it's really a stepping stone for, for our youngsters, our 15 youngsters, really to, to get an opportunity just to further their career from here, uh, going to uh, great elite schools from here. So yeah, we're just thankful for, for being here. And yeah, it feels awesome just to be the champions uh, of the national tournament. Yo, I learned, I, I learned a lot, but the important thing, the most important thing was probably teamwork to make the dream work. In the beginning, our team was a little bit sloppy and all, but we put, we put ourselves together. It's been amazing, the talent we have in our country, the, these kids are phenomenal, and it's been tough, we've had a few injuries, and we've had a few incidents, aftercare in, incidents, with them being injured and injuries that happen during the game and also I guess like from training not being as conditioned as they should be so that has been one of our struggles but overall we've had a really good tournament. I 
Kenya, you see me. The winning schools at the under-15 soccer tournament, KZN ladies team and Gauteng boys team will have an amazing opportunity to compete in the CAF Africa Schools Championship Cup that takes place in September to October 2022. The Sports Trust acts as an implementation partner together with its trustees and corporate donors and supports enhancing education through sport. The Sports Trust Corporate Quiz Challenge takes place on the 27th of October at Prison Break Market in Loneal. The Sports Trust Golf Challenge takes place at Sun City Gary Player Country Club on the 13th and 14th November 2022. information contact the sports trust by email on marketing at sportstrust.co.za or visit our website page www.thesportstrust.co.za hey guys it's time to break out and time to raise funds for sports trust and for sport development 27th of october san quentin book your table now and i will see you there